Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with fluxwithit.com and today I'm here to show you a new module from Animodule. This is the Quad Comparator. This module is a function module, logic module, that will essentially uh, let you get different outputs from one source or from up to four sources. So what that means is we can send an LFO into input one that will then be buffered and multied to input two, three, and four. So with only one LFO going into this module, I can set thresholds for these different outputs. You have two outputs per input, and those outputs are a gate and a not gate, okay? You set the threshold with the knobs down below, okay, on the sides here, and with one LFO going in, you can set up to four thresholds. So you'll have eight outputs all from one LFO. What I've set up is a patch right now where I'm sending an LFO from the little monster uh, triangle wave into input one of the quad comparator and then the outputs are all going to various uh, envelopes and um, also to the double D VCA, uh, which I have essentially controlling all my oscillators. Um, I'm sending a clock from the Mini Brute into a Turing machine, and the Turing machine is essentially sending the pitch voltage around. So let's go ahead and start turning these up, and you'll see how I have the threshold set to different uh, different thresholds on here. You can go negative 10 all the way up to positive 10 volts and we'll turn it up and you'll see how the different staging allows me to get different um, timing. Now as I change the threshold on here, you'll notice that it will change. And that's all just coming from one LFO, you know, opening up and closing envelopes um, all around. So again, what we have is here is we have a gate signal for green and a not gate signal. And that is essentially going to uh, let us trigger these different envelopes. Now you can also use that to do interesting things like um, if we, let's go ahead and turn up the speed of this LFO.
So we can use audio rates with this as well. We can also do interesting things like use this to output square waves. Uh, so if you want to send one, uh, one VCO into this, you can use that to then output you know, eight different square waves out of this. Um, actually, and they're, they're not even always directly square waves. Uh, if I can set up this patch for a second, I'll show you um, a, different, a different usage for this altogether. Okay, so what we have here now is very simple setup. I'm using a triangle weave from a Little Monster VCO coming out into input one on the quad comparator. Now that's being buffered and normaled to the other outputs on the quad comparator. And I can set my threshold at different spots. It's going to output it as a square weave, but with the threshold, I can basically uh, adjust pulse width modulation on this. So as I bring this up, um, let's go ahead and I'll just bring it up and I've sent it into a mixer. So I'm getting three different uh, square waves all from one oscillator going into the quad comparator and we'll see how it sounds. Now let's bring up the bottom one here. We're gonna bring up the threshold. Bring up the second one now. And we could shape this how we like. So if we want a really fat one, we can of course just kind of lightly offset it. And then we'll bring up the third. Now, of course, if we use another output, if we use the not gate output, it's going to invert that. And of course, we have, we still have a fourth slot here, and I can use that. Let me go ahead and grab a cable here to send that one out. I'm going to send this, this fourth one, which is actually the first, but I'm going in reverse here. I'm going to send that out of the inverted. So we have three gates being sent out at audio rate. So they're like square wave with pulse width modulation knobs. And then I have an inverted square wave here, and I'm going to bring that up. And of course I need the threshold up. I can do the same thing if I send it a square wave. Now, triangles are going to be better. Triangles and saws are going to be better, of course, because you're getting different, um, you're triggering at different points in the, uh, in the waveform. So now we're on a saw wave.
So just a very, um, very great module if you want to get a lot out of just a single other module. Now, of course, you can feel free to do things like uh, send send multiple inputs into this thing. Again, it does have four inputs. So let's take uh, output three. And once we use output three, now it's going to be sending, uh, output three is going to come out and go to uh, three and four. So let's go ahead and send this guy into here. And of course you could, instead of, uh, let's say instead of using two oscillators, I just wanted to use one oscillator that has multiple different wave shapes. Well, the thresholds are gonna come at different points on different wave shapes. So, again, saw and triangle. Lots of versatility in this model. And again, it's great for triggering uh, VCAs and envelopes. So just a really cool module, uh, pretty interesting. Quad comparator from Anna module. Check it out. Peace.